Hello and welcome to this Bible Pro video. In this video I'm going to explain the best two ways I believe to do manual sourcing. So let me just show you first. So the first thing I'm going to do is what we did here was just type in a well-known brand, in this case Disney. Okay. And in this case we're going to type in Disney Toys. Okay, so the first way we're going to do this is reverse brand sourcing, okay? And then I'll explain the second way soon. So the first way you can do manual sourcing, the most uh, effective way in my opinion, is, is brand reverse sourcing. So what we're doing here is looking for items here which seem to have potential, okay? Which seem to have potential. So for example here, this one looks good. So we've got four FBA sellers. The price looks okay. Looks like a possible deal there. So the first thing that I would do is actually have a quick search from Google before I've even looked in, just to just to see if there's any any chance of us getting this at the right price. Okay. Now, at first look, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we could get this at the right price. It's £21 from Disney itself, so therefore I'm going to avoid that one there. So that's a really quick way to distinguish good from the bad. Obviously the FBA sellers are going to help us here. Let's have a look at this one quickly. So from Disney, you can see it's £30. Therefore, we're going to move away from it straight away. So some of these, it just saves you a lot of time. Uh, and when you're with a big brand, by the way, sometimes the first page... Um, may be too competitive anyway. It may be too competitive on the first page. But we have a little look anyway. We, we, we keep having a little look here just to see if there's any potential items. So Disney doesn't look like possibly the best. Let's have a little look at um, Jelly Cat as a brand, for example, some other sort of toys. There we go. So Jelly Cat have popped up here. And we'll wait for that to load. And what we're doing here is just looking at, we're going to do the exact same thing, just looking at the amount of FBA sellers. Um, we we'll stay away from the sponsored for now because they're sponsored by other online arbitrages. And what we're doing here is then also looking for items that are potentially going to be more profitable elsewhere. Um, and what we can see here is this one hasn't got a rank, which is not the end of the world because it could be a ghost graph okay let's have a look at this 26.95 got 11 sellers which means there's something happening there not too many to make it not a deal possibly um, oh there we go and we can see there that this is definitely at a lower price elsewhere um, depending on size you can definitely get it at a cheaper price elsewhere let's go by 16.25 there shall we and let's have a look see if we can make this worthwhile looking into so we'll load it all up There we go, in Buy Book Pro there. So it was 16.25 to start with. But you just gotta remember, I am actually VAT registered. Oh, that's 1616. 16.25. But there won't be much profit here for me because I'm VAT registered. There we go, so it's just £2.14. But if you were not VAT registered, then this would most likely be a deal at around about 22% ROI. Um, and that did, obviously that didn't take as long to find, but it's not always the ROI, it's the amount of sales. So this sells a lot. This has got a lot of sales, okay, a lot of sales there. The rank's really good for a toy. It's got a lot of sales. The price seems consistent. It all seems there, even though the, the sellers are coming back on now. Well, I have actually sold this in the past, as far as I can see. And yeah, if you weren't that registered, this could be an okay deal. So that's how I would I would repeat that process over and over again until I found until I found a deal um, and multiple deals by doing that you know depending on what your circumstances are depending on if you're VAT registered or if you're not VAT registered and uh, another thing that I would do is actually reverse search people's stores so go onto a listing okay go onto a listing that's selling items of similar sort that you want to sell and you go onto their store. So the second way is reverse store sourcing. Go onto listings that, you, that you're that you interested in selling 
look for items, okay? Have a little look for items here. Anything that pops your fancy, all you need to do is open a new tab on the Amazon page because this price here is not, this price here is not the price that Amazon is selling it for. So you need to remember the ASIN, open a new page, 82J. And then there we go, 82J. So the real price is actually 793 on that product. So that's really interesting to see. So you've got to remember that. Okay, let's have a little look at this one. £18 there. Oh, that was the Google Store. So straight away we'd strike that one out because it's already £13 there from the retailers. What we do is just open this up in Amazon again. As you can see, it is actually 1950 from Amazon, so that's great. So what we would actually then do is just see if we can find this on Google at a cheaper price at a quick glance. And as far as we can see, it's not looking like £13 is going to bring back much profit if we're selling it for 1950 so we'd stay away from that. But that is the process of how we would go about reverse sourcing from shops afterwards. And obviously, you're not going to find deals straight away all the time, but it does give you a good um, understanding that of how possible it is to just reverse source, keep repeat, rinsing and repeating the process of the shops and reverse sourcing from the main site, from brands, etc. And then you will definitely stumble across some possible replens or just deals in general. So I hope that video has helped. Anyway, and thanks for watching that Bible Pro video. <laughs>